All right, rolling. Ready? Yep. Okay, the uh, toss scheme off the three by the three man surface. Okay, and we'll rewind this from. And the one thing we talked about, folks, was making sure that the bunches all look like bunches. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the one variation now with the versus the four eye technique, you know, how we. We game plan this now, in this, you know, after spring ball, how we'll handle this is a little bit different than what's showing up on film right now. But the big thing here, hey, where's the one block, you know, the crack block? That's going to be number 91 here. I'd like to see his head probably get a little bit more up the field, do a better job fitting his hands. Okay, but with leverage, you know, he's able to pin him. Crack that laser or no? Yep. Yeah. You know. I'd like to see him, I'd like to see 91 pin this guy, do a little bit better job. Mm -hmm. Here's the, here's the tube block. This over here. Here's the tube block. Right, head up the inside. I'd like to see him. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty good job. He's going to be on force. He's on the corner. The tackle, what we tell him. You're always pulling. He's always going to pull. Now, for whatever reason, the guard, this is, he'll be, he'll be reaching, he'll be reaching the four-eye. Yep. Now, with the drastic spike of the four-eye, I'd like to say that 67 in this picture is now going to go out and block the backside linebacker. Mm -hmm. Now we at least have a hat for a hat, you know. A little bit better finish, right? Compete for seven seconds, be on your feet, be connected to the defender, be between the defender and the ball carrier. I'd probably give him a minus for finish. And on the back side, this should be full zone, right? Not really geeked up with what the center's doing here. He's getting he's getting he's getting picked off. Don't like his steps, don't like how he brings his feet together, gotta to play with a more consistent base. Backside guard. Step, let's full zone the thing. Okay, rip your backside arm and keep running. And 74, run through the path of the football. Nothing comes. Turn back. I don't. I don't like seeing him spin. It's still not a bad job. Yep. Right, like these guys in here would be yelling at me. Did the play gain five yards? Yes, it did, fellas. Okay, coach, let's go on to the next play. Okay, we, we've just got. We, got three different camera angles, which I love here at UConn. We've got the wide, we've got the offensive and the defensive angle. So same thing. Let, let's look at it here. This is the toss scheme to the three by side. We'll just put, try to put a little yep. sugar on it. You know, motion in the back, getting them over there. Most like we talked about before, there are times where you bring them back and then motion them, but not, not letting the defense get comfortable. Good job down in the red zone. Like the play. Not really fired up with what's happening with the center. Like I said, it's the first time he ever snapped the ball. Yep. You know, it was April 9th, or excuse me, uh, March 9th, the first day of spring ball. But not a bad play. Look at yep. from the wide. Or the, the tight shot, excuse me. Right. Here's the one block. Okay. The biggest thing is tackle this. Find out what technique this defender's mm -hmm. in. Is he a four eye? Is he a four? I think this guy's more four ish. Okay. If he's a four, right? Eight is going to come down and pin him. He's got the crack. Two's got the seal. We're pulling. Okay, guard, he's either going to pull or work through. We should full zone the backside three for three. So who's on the play side backer right now? This one right here? No, right? inside back, right there. Should be the guard. Right, okay. Should be the guard. So the tackle pulls for num number one past the point, right? Yeah, he's going to pull. Get a little depth. Is that a good example of the wedge step that you talk about? I would like to see him 
Coach, I, I think he's probably a little bit too much up on his toe. Yeah. Now, Matt's a kid that's got to work on, you know, everything starting on the ground and moving up. He's got he he's got to he's got to work on his ankle, his knee, and his hip flexibility. But it's not bad. I don't think it's where you want it to be right now. Okay. Hopefully next year he's a little bit more flexible down there and not have an issue. You know, I'd like to see number two use his hands a little bit more yeah. and just try to shoulder block this guy and get thrown. But the one thing, big boy running on the perimeter, and like I said, this is this was a fairly new play for us this spring. I mean, the whole offense was new, but this was one of the uh, one of the newer complement runs that we wanted to put in. Like to see him just go, just run, go run over a guy, go make the DB get nervous, go threaten him a little bit more. Full zone this thing on the backside, the center, he's clicking his heels together. Come on, Dorothy, we're not in Kansas, right? Don't do that and run on the backside. Run, 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 run. So I'm looking at number two. I'm sure the receiver's coach is coaching this, but it's almost like a box-out technique if he doesn't establish front-side leverage. Correct. Okay. Correct. Coach, he, he wants to try to come down. He's got head up to inside. Right. Same thing, via the neck, strike him. He, he's is it still a double under strike point for those guys? Because they don't get taught that, do they? No. Yeah. No. It's via the neck, first hand on the sternum, second hand, try to get it underneath the armpit. Got it. Right. And the, the kid he's playing against is... is Really, really athletic. Yeah. Young linebacker from Ohio. Right, if he figures it out, I mean, he's he he could be really good. Mm -hmm. Twenty six, just loaded with grit. You know, does a great job. Runs his feet. Tries to finish. You know, just we love seeing it. So again, there's no shimmy on open space blocking. It's run. Right. Okay. Not yet. I mean, from what you talked about. I may, I may, I may try to uh, to do some of it because it makes sense. Yeah. But I just, I'd love to see him just run over this guy, be right. a little bit lower, you know, when he strikes him a little bit more, play with a little bit better leverage, bend your knees a little bit more, pad under pad, but still, hey, finish the block, go strike him, go have a little fun. You're out on the perimeter, go try to run over a DB. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Same thing. We didn't always have the bunches be correct, you know, in terms of alignment. Now, yep. H bust in this, H bust in this, yeah. how we ran it in the spring. Should be on the How we'll change it now. I mean, if this if this is a four, I, I don't see this as being a four. I see this yeah. more as a four. He needs a block down on the four technique, <coughs> right? Two's head up to inside. They're basically double teaming the guy. The tackle's going to pull. Young kid, former volleyball player. So that, that's a skip pull right there. Look at his right foot. Exactly. Yeah. Now the thing with Ryan, Ryan never likes to move his left foot whenever he has to step. Mm -hmm. for, whatever, for whatever reason, he's got to get a little bit more comfortable, <clears throat> in my opinion, moving that left foot. Yeah. And, my whole thing with him, if you're if you're comfortable doing this, I don't have a problem with it. Just don't make your outside zone but your outside zone steps look like this. Yeah. Now he, he's a guy that's really got to break break everything down from the ground up and really work. But he, he's he's got the ability. So here's a question I was yes, thinking sir. about, Coach, for a while here. Now you seventy is gonna reach that four technique. That's the call that you that's at least an adjustment that you want to have. Correct. If he's a four, like this kid actually gets involved in tackle. If he's a four, can that reach block still be done by that left guard? I think it probably could, but ultimately, I would love to see eight block this correctly and block down, block down, and either have Ryan pull and Cam pull, or see Ryan pull and have Cam skinny through okay. to block the first thing that shows over here to block the mic. Because essentially, I'd love to see full zone here on the back side and these three handle possibly the most dangerous of these four. Still something we need to work on on the back side. The guard doesn't have to be so keyed in 
you know, of, of, of trying to, yeah, you know, slam back on this, you know, three technique when they're bringing, when they're getting the field pressure, or excuse me, boundary pressure. Now, I think Ryan, when he pulls, if there's color, I mean, he can go, he can hit it, maybe send it back on the cam. Or this would be, hold on one second. I think this would be the ideal time to try to do the slingshot technique. Right. Now take this hand and wrap it around that hip and try to pull yourself around and through, and it may be a moot point. Okay. But it's something I think we need to work on and try to get better at. I, I've not, I haven't taught it yet, but it's something where this fall we're going to, we're going to work on it. Same thing, three by one. Now he's, he's doing it here. Now these two completely different athletes, former volleyball player, right, just a weight room guy. A little bit stiffer in the, in the, in the ankles, yeah. right, a little bit more fluid mover. Probably right now a better athlete for the position. Still learning and growing into his body. I mean this guy, this guy's up 35 pounds since last season. Okay. Same thing. Here's here's the here's the toss crack to the three by one side to the three man surface. Right. He's down. There's the crack block by eight. There's the seal block by two. He's on force. Tackles pulling here. Versus the fork technique, I'd love to either see the guard join the party and pull, or work through, and then full zone this thing on the back side. Hmm. I think the, guards, the guard has got to get down here with the center. He, he can't turn out on a fork. You know, on a wide three technique yeah. or a four eye. He's got to get moving. Right, he's got to get down here really full zone this thing on the back side. And I'd love to see the center rather than just stand here and rotate till grass, <laughs> go do something. Go pierce the defense, go work, go get work through. Just don't stand, I mean that to me is not, that's not what you're looking for in terms of finish. Right, because that guy right. ultimately is going to hit the back. So the backside footwork is outside zone footwork, outside not zone inside zone, footwork, so no. the right guard's wrong here. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean he's lifting. Yep. He's taking a timing step and lifting. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. You want to full zone the backside, make turn it in the outside zone. Love to give Yeah, it's a good job love by to 74. Give the center the handoff, put him at running back, and let him try to run the plate and see how it feels to get hit like this. <laughs> yeah. But the one thing you yeah, that's you'll a good job. get, you'll get you'll get some finish. Yeah. He's going to push and he's going to pass her and he's really going to try to try to get that. I think this is the same play. No, it's different. This is different. Difference. Better on the back side here with the full zone. Better on the back side trying to full zone this thing. We just don't, we don't do a great job of finishing. Right? Freshman. Freshman center. I never snapped the ball before spring ball. You know, it's never put in that situation. Yeah. Love to either see the guard pull. Love to see number eight set the bunch correctly. If this is a four eye, to me, this does look like this is a little bit more four eye ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, guard, now you reach the four eye, tackle, you pull, all right? Crack lock, you take a step down, and then now you can work for 45. Two, you've got the seal block, your head up to inside, you go and block. I can't see that defender's number right there, but you've got that man inside of you. Yeah, not a good job by eight here, right? No. Maintaining inside out leverage. No. No, eight is eight was a guy who used to you you know when you were Normally, when we were blocking, he was at he was down at seven on seven, yeah. and he actually moved practice three from receiver to tight end. For practice, he was down at board drills. Okay. 
it's got a hell of a job. So when you do your half-line installs with this that we talked about, the drill work, he'll yes, be sir. working with the online? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a tight end now. He made the switch. He made the switch.